Okay, 50 pointer, 12 questions. 50 pointer, 12 questions. Guys, I'm going to have three proofs at the end. Three proofs. One proof will be worth six points. The other two will be 10 point proofs. All right, and again, I don't know if I discussed this earlier in the week, but the reason they're 10 points is so you can get partial credit if you have no idea what's going on. Okay, and also, I've had a couple people in the past years, believe it or not, they just wrote all reflexives down, thought they were going to get some partial credit. No. All right, you don't get partial credit if you could just write the givens down. All right, but I am at least going to tell you guys what type of proofs are going to be on there. All right, those 10 point proofs, the first proof is going to be an isosceles triangle proof, meaning you're either going to have to prove it's isosceles or I'm going to tell you it's isosceles and you got to use some of the facts like the congruent angles are across from the congruent sides. All right, so that first 10 point proof is going to have something to deal with being isosceles. The second 10 point proof, uh, I haven't referred to these like this, but I call them detour proofs where you guys know I got to prove those triangles congruent, but it's not happening. So what do we do instead? Find a different pair and then get back to the other pair. That's what I mean by the detour ones. All right, so you know I got to prove these two triangles congruent. It's not happening at that moment, so turn your attention to another pair, then get back to them. All right, those are the two 10-point proofs on the test. And then it'll be a six-point proof, which is a little bit uh, less involved, I should say, than the 10-point uh, proofs. All right. I'm not going to tell you how many steps because I don't want you to think about that. All right, and it may be different from my answer key than yours. Congruence, rigid motions, just make sure you know what a reflection, rotation, and translation looks like. That's what I mean by the rigid motions. Make sure you know what they look like. Homework from two nights ago. Remember I gave you a triangle and I had like zero comma question mark. You'll have one of those. That's what I mean by find the missing coordinates. And I will give you a description of a special triangle. So an isosceles triangle has a base length of 2a. Graph it for me. An equilateral triangle has a side length of 2a. Graph it for me. Okay, so isosceles, equilateral, right triangle. I could ask you to graph on your own with the proper coordinates. And five methods of proving triangles congruent. I just want to review that with you here. Here we go. It's been a while. One, two, three, four. What are my five methods here? Eight, ooh, right off the bat. HL can only be used in what type of triangles? So if you are doing a proof on Monday that involve, you think involves HL, you have to tell me the right triangles before you're writing HL. Next up. Now that we've come to the end of the unit, guess what's still not up here? Angle, 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 and side, side, angle. Should still not appear anywhere on your test. CPCTC. That is not used until when? After you prove triangles congruent. It's not a method to proving them. It is used after proving them congruent. And again, get the order right. I'm sorry, guys. I will take off if you don't get the order right. So there are the five methods. And then different parts of the isosceles triangle. Different parts, because I will not refer to them as the congruent angles. I'll refer to them as their geometrical name. So let's go over the different parts and what they're called. I'm going to throw a little curveball at you now. OK, what are those called? Those are the legs, yep. And if those are congruent, we also established what else are congruent? Angle B, congruent to angle A, yep. The, so the angles across from those sides are congruent. Anybody remember what those angles were called? Yep, somebody said it. Base angles, yep, those are called the base angles. Okay, what about the non-congruent side? 
That is the base, yep. Hence base angles. And what about the non congruent angle? Vertex angle, yep. There you go. Anything you want to ask? about the unit test here, anything? Go in. Okay, I'm going to show you a couple questions from the book. You don't have to copy them down. I, I don't want to waste time copying them down, and you may do them this weekend if you choose to do the problems out of the book. I just have a couple questions I want to fly by and say, just watch out for some of these. Uh, 20, here you go, ready? 27 up here, I have two triangles. Are they congruent? If so, give me the reason. If not, just tell me not possible. Don't yell out anything yet. Just take a look at it, process it. Are these two triangles congruent? Thoughts? Are they congruent? I got some no's, but what, the people that want to say yes don't want to speak up? Well, you got your reflexive side, right? So I, I'm assuming most of you that are saying yes in your head are going to give me side, side, side. What's this side congruent to? A side in the same triangle. It should be congruent into something in the other triangle. So does everyone see why side, side, side not apply here? I should have one, one, and two, two hash marks. All right, but nope. So that's a not possible. We okay there? Didn't want you to get tripped up. Uh, got your calculators on you for this next one. You can just crunch some numbers here. And again, you don't need to copy anything down. Some of you may end up doing these problems over the weekend. Everyone see the diagram all right? You need me to blow it up. We all right in the back? Okay, uh, here you go. Here's two triangles. I've marked two of the sides congruent on each. Somehow get to angle X. Somehow get to angle X. You don't need to find it right away. You can find unmarked angles. That might be a good idea. Can anybody help me find any unmarked angles? How can I find unmarked angles up there? Matt? Matt? Everyone see those have to be congruent. How many degrees in a triangle? 180, I already have 116. How much is left? 64 divided by two evenly here I have 32 and 32, right? All right, let's keep moving towards X. What can I do now? You get another angle. And yes, that is a straight line, if you were wondering. Violet? Yep, these three angles add to 180. So this angle end up being 76. Anybody else? What has to be this angle? Because they're congruent. They're across from the congruent sides. 180 minus those two would end up being 28. We OK there? OK, uh, let's do one of those. You just tell me what to label and where here. This triangle is going to be isosceles. It's got to have a height of H. That's something new we haven't seen yet, but you can deal with it. And a base of WY, that's got to be 2A. Okay, so isosceles triangle. The base has to be WY. It's got to have a length of 2A. And I threw in a little extra there. It's got to have a height of H. Uh, where do you, we'll start here. What do you want me to call that coordinate? W. w. Zero, zero. What would you like me to call this coordinate? Wow. And all right, it's got to be something specific. 2A, because it's got to have a length of A. So that would mean X is halfway in between. So what's the X coordinate here? A. Now, usually, I'd say it doesn't matter within its isosceles. Equilateral absolutely does matter the Y coordinate. Isosceles usually doesn't matter except for here. Because now I threw in this height of W. 
So it's got to be a height of w. So what's got to be my y coordinate? Has to be what? H. All right, can't be b, c, whatever you guys want to write. All right, everyone see that? It's got to be h because it's got to be have a height. It's got to go up to h. Okay. Everyone all good? Going? Uh, was there anything else I wanted to cover? Sure, we'll do. Here you go. Uh, in that diagram, can you find me angle two? Assume all lines are straight. Can somehow, can you get me to angle two? All right, somebody volunteer here. One, num one angle, because I don't think you're getting the angle two right now. One angle you can find on your own. What's up, Izzy? How do you know? Perfect. It's isosceles. These are the base angles. So that's got to be 66. Here we go. You could go right to 2 right now, but I'll take anything. We don't have to go to 2. We can go to 3. We can go to 4. It's up to you. What's up, Mike? Angle 4 is what? 132. How do we get there? Look at Mike here. I don't know if anybody realizes what Mike is using here, but he sees this triangle here, and 132 is a what angle? Exterior. And what's the rule? The exterior is equal to two remote interiors added up. Nice job, Mike. Yep. And then now, how can I get the angle two? I got 132, I got 24, missing angle. 24, so it looked like that bottom one was isosceles too. Okay. So just a couple little review questions here. Most of the time is going to be dedicated to uh, working on your own. If you have your Chromebook, let's get your Chromebook out. Page 49 in your packet as well, please. Okay, uh, in your Chromebooks, I'd like you to open up our Aspen webpage for me. Does everyone see on page 49 of your packet? Look there first. I have. Uh, Gave you some uh, optional problems to try, okay, in your packet. Those answers, those answers are under Unit 4, homework answers. This is the week of November 11th. Everyone see unit test review answers. Okay, those are for your textbook. Okay, those answers are for your textbook. All good? Now, I'm going to warn you, those ones out of your textbook, they're decent. They're decent. Do I think they're up to the caliber of the ones I put on the test? No. Okay, I think they're a little bit easier than the ones that are on the test. So what I did in addition is everybody see under unit four, I also have more practice for the unit test. I like those a lot. Okay, I like those a ton. And there's a ton, speaking of a ton, there's a ton of problems there. All right, I didn't even count the number of questions, but it's ridiculous. And then... Geez, still scrolling, still scrolling, still scrolling. Oh, here are some proofs. That's nice of me to put in there. Still scrolling. Level B proofs. Ooh. Oh, that one looks familiar, huh? Wonder where I got the one from the quiz. Keep going. Oh, more practice. Look at this, guys, huh? I don't even know what we're up to now. And then once these proofs end, the packet repeats itself, but with my answers in there. Okay? So everyone see how's that, how that packet works there. Okay, the questions and the packet repeats with my answers and work. I like those questions a lot. And then for those tougher 10 pointers that are gonna be on the test, if you want practice, I have the tougher triangle proofs for you guys to try out. Okay, I think I put five on there maybe. Ones that I could find anyway. 
for maybe, okay, and then some of the answers to them, okay? All good? Questions at all? Because I'm going to leave it up to you. All right, I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, it's a shame that I trust most of you working with whoever you want, but not all of you, so just stay right where you are. You can work with the people around you, but that's about it, okay? Call me over. I'll look over anything, go over anything with you. It's up to you. You guys have three different resources, your textbook, the more practice, or the tougher triangle proofs. You have three different options for yourself. Okay? Call me over if you want me to look over or you're just plain stuck. 